Good morning! I don't know why I would say good morning because you could be watching this at any time of day, but good morning. It is still morning for me right now. It is the 19th of July. I feel like I just got back from my road trip. I just wanted to give a quick update since I have a minute and it's been a long time since I've done any kind of daily vlog, but I really just... Since I got back from that road trip, I've pretty much just been trying to catch up on work and just hanging out with friends. I haven't done anything too exciting. Oh no, the exciting thing that I'm doing is really actively looking for a van. And there are a couple vans that I've been seeing on Craigslist that I think I'm going to reach out. I've been waiting for the perfect van to just fall into my lap. And there has always been something for each van that I see that I like that has stopped me from wanting to get it. I actually have like a few vans that I'm trying to reach out to. I have different reasons why I love all of them, but one of them is like in the Seattle area. It's really close, so I'm going to give that guy a call first and just see if I can view the van. And maybe even just seeing his van, which is a weekender, so it doesn't have the kitchen inside, will give me an idea of whether or not that would be a feasible option for me or how I feel about just being in the van. I've never even been in a camper van. I sound a little crazy, but you know, I think... The experience of just being in the van, popping up the top, hopping in the driver's seat, giving it a whirl, I think will give me a much better idea of uh, how I feel in that kind of van, especially like the Weekender and the Westphalia type in general. Also, random thought, I've been kind of on another, on a reading kick, articles and also books and audiobooks, and I'm going to try to incorporate more book things in my channel or on my Instagram. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. I read a lot of, I, I think I read like half fiction and half nonfiction. I like a lot of self-help books. I like kind of fantasy, sci-fi, horror, thrillers. Not into like romance really or like cheesy stuff, but just about anything else I'm into. So if you're curious, if you want to hear some book lists of books that I've been reading or just any reviews from things that I've liked recently, let me know. Tell me what you'd be curious about. So I'm gonna get back to work and I will talk to you guys soon. Y'all, I am at this freaking Fred Meyers parking lot um, looking at my first perspective van. It is a an 89 Vanagon it is the weekender version, so there's no kitchen. Um, I just pulled into the lot, and she's over there. She, She's so cute. There she is. So I need to compose myself a little bit and then give the seller a call. So he'll meet me out here and give me a tour of the van. Holy shit. I'm kind of nervous. Why am I so nervous for this? It's like going on a, a first date or something. I'm also kind of nervous to like give it a test drive, but I really want to. Okay, you can do this, compose yourself, it's just a vehicle, and potentially my future home. Alright, let's do this. Honestly, she was not the one. She was in like, quite a bit rougher shape than I could tell from the ad. So I'm glad I saw it in person. I was a little nervous to ask if I could drive it around for some reason, but I just drove it around this parking lot and I actually cannot believe how how slow they are. Like the acceleration and the braking is just <laughs> like glacial, which is honestly kind of cute. Well, that was a fun experiment nonetheless, and it's time to go home and probably continue scouring Craigslist for more. How are you guys all doing? It is already July 23rd and after work today I am going to Vashon Island for the weekend. So a quick trip. It's a short ferry ride from Seattle. It'll be really nice. The cabin looks really gorgeous. Unfortunately because it is July and we're having an extremely dry year there are no fires. I have a running joke with this friend that I'm going with that uh, my Instagram is a secret blog because I don't actually share that Instagram or this channel with 
my real life friends and uh, family or coworkers really. I think I have like three people in real life that know about it. For some reason, yeah, it just makes me feel a little self-conscious about what I'm posting and like I need to have some type of a filter and I don't want the content that I'm putting out to be restricted or filtered or censored in any way, really. But especially not because there's just people following that honestly don't even really give a shit, I'm sure. But just knowing that they will see this, for some reason I just am self-conscious about it. Oh! GoPro's taking a little journey. I have been scouring Craigslist almost daily and doing a lot of van searching. I did see a van. I have talked to the owner of this van yesterday. She called me and I'm more sold after talking to her. So I've asked her to text me some more photos of the interior to get a better idea of what it looks like. I'm nervous about other people seeing the van. She did tell me I think she has two folks lined up to go view the van in person. And I'm nervous about it! Like, I don't want these people to get the van before I get a chance to at least see it in person and make a decision. That's the update. Otherwise, I will talk to you shortly. It is July 29th and it's, dude, we're having another heat wave up here. I mean, it's 90 degrees out, which for Seattle is super hot. So there had been a van that I was really interested in and I was supposed to email the girl today to schedule a viewing for this weekend, but I noticed as of this morning she had taken down the ad, so I'm 99% sure that she sold it. I know that she was showing it to somebody today, so. A little bummed, but not like completely heartbroken over it. Seeing the listing for that van really, I think, gave me a better idea of like the kind of aesthetic that I'm really, really drawn to. And if I was to do my own build out in a van, I would probably try to do something pretty similar. Now I have no leads on a van. Um, I believe the mint one is still up for sale, but I think I talked myself out of it because of the level of rust that is present on that van. That's really what I got going on. Tomorrow's the end of the month. I need to catch up. I'm probably just gonna be whipping together my July vlog. I never even finished editing that. I haven't edited it in a long time and it's giving me some anxiety because I just am so backlogged still. Um, I'm really trying to keep up with these like monthly vlogs of just more day-to-day -day stuff. It's just been hard to find time to edit. And I know I'm just making excuses because I definitely spend some time scrolling on Instagram and doing other bullshit that's not productive. I just gotta, I gotta get the motivation. So now I need to figure out plans for this weekend because I had originally thought that I was going to go down and see that cute van, but now that is not a thing, which is maybe a little bit of a relief because I was kind of stressing out about it. Maybe I should do another like solo mini road trip or something. I was gonna say maybe I should bring Pico somewhere, but I don't know if he would love that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll... <laughs> I'll throw a vlog in the cards because he was not a happy camper in my car for like 10 hours <laughs> in one day. This may or may not be the last time I'm checking in for the month, but we'll see. If it is, I will see you next month. Hope you had a good July. I will catch you on my next video or on Instagram. So see you then and take care guys. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, wait, I shouldn't say guys. Bye, everyone.